Hello lovely Taurus, I'm so happy to see you on my channel and today we will do the monthly July love readings for you and uh, please remember that this is a general reading and if it doesn't resonate with you that's absolutely normal and you can check out the reading for your moon sign or your ascendant sign and then you will see the whole picture possibly so what is awaiting for Taurus in July? What should you anticipate? What's going to happen in your love life for Taurus? July 2020 Taurus. And man, you're waiting for something with this person and this relationship and this situation, but it seemed to take a lot of time. Something isn't happening. And we have a page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and it tells me that Maybe you are waiting for some um, attention, you are waiting for a sign from someone, from someone to reach out to you, finally, to give you this hope, possibly, but it's not happening and you just have to hang in there, look at the scene, try to look at the situation from another perspective and be patient. Okay, let's see further. Taurus, you are being very, very strong, very decisive, very, you know your power, you know your worth, and you're standing in your worth, in your strength, in your truth, and you know what you deserve, and you're not going to compromise for less, you're not going to, you're not going to settle for less, essentially, you you're feeling like you are someone that deserves the best and uh, that is what people should approach you with or this person should approach you with. The person you are dealing with, um, they're trying to be fair, they're trying to see the justice in the situation, they are trying to be logical, they're trying to be weighted, they're trying to be um, more logical than emotional. So tell me, why are you being so logical to the viewer of this video, to your Taurus? Why are you being so logical? Why are you being so fair and just? What are you being so just about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I feel like this person is coming to you very lightly, very light-hearted, they're coming towards you with this childish energy, with this um, being very fleety and like they don't want anything serious, they just want to play around, like they, they just want a fresh start possibly with you, but what they understand is that what you really need is the emperor and you really need someone who who can support you, who can love you, who can give you this promise of the stable future and in conjunction with the King of Pentacles that's really someone who who can provide, who can give you what you want, what you deserve because you are the Queen of Wands because you're someone incredible, you're someone who's so powerful, so beautiful, so magnetizing, so attractive and uh, but this person, for some reason, they feel like maybe they don't, they can't measure up to you. They can't be this emperor. They can't give you what you want. And um, and they're trying to come from this viewpoint of justice. So I can give it to you. I'm gonna be lighthearted, and that's 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 all I can do, basically. Hmm. What do you think about them? What do you think about them, Taurus? How do you perceive them? What do you think about them? You 
feel like there are many secrets that this person has and keeping from you and you feel like they are trying to manipulate possibly to control the situation to make this relationship go the way they want it to go and you it's hard for you emotionally you have this anxiety you have this worry you struggle to sleep even though you know your worth you know how beautiful you are how smart you are how feminine and uh, alluring you are and how strong you are you just know that this relationship doesn't go anywhere because this person keeps manipulating you because they they just seem to they seem to not be able to become this emperor to give you this pentacle to to be someone more stable they're just like a fool they are just too easy to light to they don't take things seriously even though they know that this is unjust to you this is not fair hmm. okay so what are your plans you're gonna speak up you're gonna say the truth you're gonna say what's on your mind and you're gonna express your truth express your thoughts about this person basically what are you going to say to them What are you going to say to your person, Taurus? What do you want to say to them? What do you want to clarify? What do you want to say to them? That you're about to leave. That you're done. That you are so tired of this. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords again. You will basically say that they are only coming to you with the wants, which is the sexual side of relationships, a lot of passion, a lot of um, desire, basically, and physicality. But there is nothing. They can't provide you with the stability. You want to be this queen of pentacles. You want to be this um, mother figure. You want to be this family woman or man. And you want to be this. You want to see this stability finally in your relationship. And for that, you, you need clarity from this person. Are they going to give you what you deserve or not? Because otherwise, if they don't, you're going to leave. You're gone. Plans of your person. They're thinking of moving on. Or they're thinking that you might, might move on. What is it? Clarification. Mm, they're closing off from you. They're closing off. And they're trying to be sneaky, they're trying to find an ease in this whole situation. Find something that's more easy. Escape into something that's more easy. Because they don't want to open up. Yeah, they're trying to be too sneaky, they're trying to hide their true, true thoughts, true ideas, true feelings. They don't want to open up to you, they're completely closed. And what are your true feelings? What are your true feelings towards our Taurus? Tell me. Tell me what are your true feelings towards the Taurus? True feelings towards Taurus. take that time they, they it's like this person doesn't rush anywhere they are slowly steadily steadily come into their financial prosperity they see the opportunity of stability with you they want to come forward to you with stability but they are going to take that time absolutely maybe for that they need to go somewhere in the future maybe they need to go for work somewhere to travel somewhere to distance themselves somehow because they need to take their time to process everything and then they definitely see themselves coming back to you and um, coming back with the offer of something stable but at the same time they're going to feel like for that they need to be in control they need to be in control of you of this relationship in order for them to have fun with you again to enjoy this love this um, joyfulness that they feel with you, this amazing friendship that you both have. 
they need to be in control. <sighs> okay. For the hidden energies, we have the highest, the high priestess. So there are some secrets. Definitely, something is being hidden from you. Uh, what are the secrets in this relationship? What's hidden? Tell me what's hidden. person you are dealing with Taurus they are much more discerning much more selfish and much more harsh than you think they are maybe you already know that they are this way and um, of course they are sexually um, attracted to you they are very attracted to you in a physical way but for some reason they can't let you closer to them like they are completely their heart is closed from you and possibly from themselves because they are stuck in some situation, they are stuck in some pattern, they are stuck in some pain or some external conditions. What are you stuck in? Tell me. What is it that's restricting you from this relationship, from opening your heart? Why are you feeling stuck? Could it be another person? If this is a third party situation, you know about it already. This could be another woman. If this is not a third party situation, then this person sees you as someone that's uh, very stable and you need something, something tangible from them. You need something... Maybe you need someone who can provide for you, who can help you out, who can give you what you deserve. But they are hung up on something. They they're holding on to their possessions because probably they they can't give you what you want. So they feel stuck. Maybe they don't have enough resources. Why are you holding on? Why are you not sharing? Why are you? Don't you think it would help your relationship? Why are you holding on to your possessions? To tell me. because there, possibly there could be some um, trauma from the past some pain from the past this person is feeling strongly for you they're very passionate about you they're very it's like they they feel so much love so much potential with you but they're constantly reminded of some pain from the past some disappointment some sorrow that makes them come towards you only as this knight of wands. Someone very passionate, someone very excited, adventurous, but not very stable and maybe not even committed. It's like one day they, they are in, one day they are out. On and off things. Okay. We have this energy of Page of Wands, Taurus, and uh, tell me about the energy of Page of Wands, hidden energy of Page of Wands. Who is it? Who is it about? Page of Wands. opportunity for your Taurus and I feel like you already see it coming there is something that you've been dreaming about something that you've been wanting for so long is coming true some dream of yours some wish of yours and the wheel has turned it's a very karmic situation maybe this is someone coming towards you in your life that y you feel um, like maybe maybe not should I should I not 
someone very confident just as you are your counterpart i'm not sure about if this is the person that we are looking at i'm really not sure because you are the queen of wands you are someone very strong very decided someone very passionate fiery you know what you want you know what you deserve and you you won't settle for less and this is the king of wands your counterpart and they are coming into picture Maybe that you, you're just acquainted with this person. They just came into your life. and uh, But it already feels for you like this is something special. This is something incredible. Because it feels like a karmic situation. And we, we were brought together in a strange way. Or maybe if this is not the person. It could be some hobby. Some work related thing. Some project that feels like this is exa exactly what you should be doing in life right now. And this is an advice from the cards for you to distract yourself with that, with this hobby, with this project, with whatever it is that's opening this opportunity for you right now. Okay, and the final, the most likely outcome of this situation is the Eight of Cups. Leaving your feelings behind, leaving your attachments behind, distancing yourself from this longing this pain this this feelings that whatever is happening here you'll probably be moving on in one way or another for good or for some time now why will you do why will you do this why are you going to move on taurus why are you moving on because you feel stuck, you feel stuck in the situation, ship, should I call it, you, you are stuck, you need to move on, this is, you've been, you felt left in the dark, blindfolded, surrounded by the sores that can cut you anytime, and this is all dangerous and confusing, and there is no truth, and you're just stuck, and you want to move on, how will you feel, how are you going to feel, if you leave all of this behind, how are you going to feel, Taurus? Mm. How are you going to feel? If you're going to leave all of this behind, how are you going to feel? Wow. Wow. In the beginning it might feel like a fresh breath of air, like this is your little personal victory, like you finally leveled leveled up and you finally see that you can be successful and you can find your own happiness you can move on, move on you can be the winner in this situation you can find your own success this will be like a victory little victory of your own but then i feel like this person will remind you of themselves again and again in this passionate fleety inconsistent knight of wands way and you will be like no I can't open up to you. I, I can't. I, I'm done with this. M my heart is closed for you at this moment. But then you'll start considering. Because they come into your life, life again, you will just hang up. Hang in there for a little. Ruminate on what's happened before and what happens between the two, two of you. Why did they come again? And you'll cut them off again. Because, because you're just... You, be, you came into this queen of swords. You finally, you don't take any more bullshit. You don't take any more crap. You cut it all. You just refuse to be who, who other people want you to be. You, you are done with pleasing someone who doesn't give anything to you in this relationship. So you'll be very clear. You'll be very precise. And you will be very honest about how you feel about others and, what, and, and the way you see your future. And that's beautiful, Taurus. Because hanging this this hanging energy that you've been for so long, this is just it's not how people should treat you. Because you're worth so much more. You're so amazing, you're so strong, you are so loving, passionate, you give so much to other people, you help other people so much on their journey. Let's get a few more um romance deck cards to wrap up what should you wait for in july 
what's happening in July for you Taurus. soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now i feel like possibly very soon you will meet someone new and um very soon you will definitely realize your worth and realize that is this something that you deserve is this something that can progress in something bigger more stable more satisfying for you i feel like you'll come to this clarity that you wish for you will come to this very very soon and then we have this card of pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you precisely there are many red flags coming from this person and i don't know and we have children your love life has been affected by children i can imagine that it's difficult if you have children but your happiness is more important if you have children with this person it may complicate things a little bit more, but if not, then maybe someone is being childish and this is a huge red flag for you because you're much more wise, you're much more confident now and you're much more mature than this person that you're dealing with at this point. Okay, Taurus, it was a little bit long. I hope this helped you and if you liked it, uh, please give me a like or subscribe, it's always appreciated. And uh, yeah, I wish you a really good July and lots and lots and lots of love. I will see you in my next videos. Bye, bye, bye.